Did you see all the stuff about Cole Beasley? I did. So, I'm curious your thoughts here. Uh, because okay. I do think that the COVID restrictions for the unvaccinated players are pretty intense. Yep. Um, the reason why the other guys have gotten vaccinated is so that the unvaccinated members of the, the franchise, the team, whatever, uh, they're, they're not going to infect those guys. Like, you, you've basically, if you get, what is it, 75% of your team, then well, it's, I don't know what the NFL's rule is. I know baseball is 85 so 85% and that's herd immunity if, or whatever. If you get 85%, they they greatly decrease the restrictions on the on the team. So I I do think it is a little bit ridiculous. Uh but I do think that it is the NFL's right to set whatever restrictions they want as far as their workplace environment goes, right? So I I'm curious Cole Beasley said that he may retire over these restrictions. He said I will play for free this year to live life the way I've lived it from day 1. Very, you know, outspoken, does what he does. He is not vaccinated. He does not plan to be vaccinated. Um, He said, I will be outside doing what I do. I'll be out in the public. If you're scared of me, then steer clear or get vaccinated. Point blank, period. I may die of COVID, but I would rather die actually living. I don't play for the money anymore. This is the problem. Cole Beasley's not going to die of COVID, and he knows that. Yes, because he's young, he's in incredible health. He, he like he's he's got a good strong immunity. He plays outside. He's 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 gets plenty of vitamin D. I'm sure he takes care of his body very yeah. well. He's not going to die of COVID. This is this is all ridiculous. So here's my he, he said. By the I, way, to end that last part that he said, he said, "Find me if you want. My way of living and my values are more important to me than a dollar." So first things first, he's making an idle threat, or not necessarily an idle threat, an idle claim by saying, "I'll play for free." You're not going to be able to play for free because that's not how the union works, okay? Yeah. You have a signed contract. They're not going to let you just throw away your contract in order to to exchange it to play for free. All right? So he knows that, so he knows he's going to get paid if he keeps to play. That, that's a little bit of a bullshit threat. We got to stop as a country, all right? I, I got vaccinated. I believe yeah. in the vaccine. I'm, I'm not afraid of it by any stretch, yeah. but I also wasn't afraid of COVID either. Like I, I took all the precautions. I wore my mask. I did all the, I, I kept my distance, but I still went to work every day because I had to, I had to, I have this house. I have these family. I have these people that I have to take care of. And, and, and I'm trying to save up for a life that we can live. Um, so I went to work every day. I did all the things that we were instructed to do. Okay. I do believe in following the science. Here's where I have a problem, all right? Science for this has evolved greatly. There is a study. I talked about it very briefly on the last show. Now, I'm an idiot, okay? So I might be reading this study wrong, but there's a study that was done in Germany that says that if you caught COVID and you now have the antibodies, you actually have a better immunity towards COVID than if you were vaccinated. So you can't force people. You have to start putting people who were, who, who have positive COVID tests in the past lumped in with the vaccinated people. We have to do that or we're not going to move forward anywhere. Okay. If you're as a vaccine truther, all right. If you believe in the vaccine and you believe in trying to get us to a better place, that's a compromise you have to make. You, If you caught COVID and we know you had COVID at some point in time, then your immunity is just as strong. And this study in Germany says it's actually stronger than, than if you got the vaccine. You have to lump those people in. They have to be counted. So you don't need 85% of the people who've had vac- who've had the vaccine. You need 85% of the people or whatever the percentage is to have either had the vaccine and or had COVID in the past. And that changes the game. That changes the numbers. All right. So you ha- this has to be a thing where we don't just all pick our aisle and say, I'm right wing. And I believe that I don't want any vaccine that was rushed through and all this stuff. And you're not pumping that into me. And I think this is all a hoax. And you can't just be the only way to beat this is you have to put this needle in your arm and get this thing. Even if you've caught COVID, even if you're a child, even if you're not at risk in any way, shape, form or fashion, that's just not smart. Neither one of those are right. Okay. Yes. He is correct in the sense of he's saying these restrictions are ridiculous. Some of them are ridiculous. Some of them are super strict. Bill Belichick, an old man, he needs to be vaccinated and he needs to be um, 
taken precautions and all the things that are put into place. But 80% of these young guys that are all super young, healthy dudes, if they choose not to, all the studies show that they're probably going to be fine, that they'll literally have to take a test to see if they have this thing or not. Yeah. All right. And if everybody who's at risk or who doesn't want to take a chance of getting COVID gets vaccinated, then the people that are young and healthy, but catch it, but don't know they have it. They can't give it to other people because those other people are vaccinated. Yes. And then once they catch it, they can't get it again. And their immune system is just like the vaccinated. A hundred percent. So you're dead all on. of these things are that now this is, this is my understanding of all the information that I've taken in and I know. And I believe, like I said, we talked about it last time. I believe the truth is lying somewhere in the middle. And this is where I'm going to live, somewhere in the middle. Okay? Yeah. Because I, I, that study from Germany can't just be made up. All right? It can't just be fabricated. That's just not how scientific studies work. Well, that's, that's not it, the only study that is that is seen. Oh, that. I'm sure. I'm sure it's yeah. not. But the problem is, is I, I won't, I won't trust an American study because some right wing organization is going to do it and it's going to lean extremely right. And therefore you can't trust the findings or some left wing organizations. We don't have an organization in the middle that gives us information. We just don't. It doesn't not exist. Yeah. Not anymore. So we you, used to. So you have to make up your mind. You have to read basically both the, the extreme informations. And then you got to have to figure out, all right, what are, what is this one not telling me? All right, now what is this one not telling me? All right, that's probably where the truth is. Yeah. Is the two things that they're both leaving out, you just kind of kind of put the puzzle together the best you can. That's it. You and I both got vaccinated. Yes. But we also don't have a problem with anybody that has not been vaccinated because no. it's your own deal. Everybody right. do what you think is best. I hang and, out with unvaccinated people all the time. And you and know what? It doesn't bother me because no, I've got you're it. You're vaccinated. I've, so. I've got it. I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> I'm not afraid of them. I don't care. And if they kill over tomorrow, it's going to suck. And their families are going to cry and be devastated. Yes. And that's part of it. Some of those folks are at risk and they need the vaccine. And I've encouraged them to get it because they are high risk. Some of them have 0% body fat. They're in the best shape of their lives and they work outside all day long. And there's no doubt in my mind, based on the studies, based on the statistics that we have from COVID, going through this for a year and a half, that if they caught it, they would never even know they caught it. They would have yeah. to take a test to find out they had it. Yeah. Which means it doesn't matter. It's not affecting them. Who no, cares? they'd be fine. They would be fine. So oh. I think, I think here's the problem that I've got. Okay. We have to stop this anti-vaxxer stuff. Okay. Yes. We have to stop it. But like, like, if you don't believe in the COVID vaccine, you have the right to not believe in it. But that doesn't mean you don't believe in the loop, uh, the, the, the vaccine for, for polio, you know? Yeah. Like that doesn't, don't lump all these vaccinated people or anti-vaxxer people in, in the same pool, okay? Because those are two very different things. Here's what I want to tell the, the super pro, all the everybody has to be vaccinated folks, is this. How do you feel about the chickenpox vaccine? If you caught chickenpox as a child, then you don't need the chickenpox vaccine, right? Because you right. can't get it again. But if you didn't get chickenpox as a pile, a child, if you get it as an adult, it can really mess you up. So you should probably get the chickenpox vaccine, right? Yeah. If you had COVID, then you probably don't need the vaccine. If you haven't had it and you think you might be in any category of at risk, then go get it. How how can we not get on that? I don't understand how we cannot get on that same page. Because everything is politicized. Like I don't know is. when I say that to my friends that are super, everybody has to get vaccinated. I'm looked at like I'm a monster. And when I say that to people who are anti this vaccine, they just don't trust it. I'm looked at like I am a, a like I'm just a sucker. Like I'm just a fool who's who's willing to put anything in my body. And I don't understand either one of them. No, it's everything is so extreme to the left or right at this point. Yes. We've talked about this for If you live in the middle, point. you're getting beaten up by everybody. You're getting rocks thrown at you by everybody. Yes. There, I just there want once, to be reasonable about everything. That's it. Yeah, there once was a time when the majority of the country was in the middle. Yeah. Like, and now, who knows? Like, it, it might just be uh, a few here and there that we just happen to run into, but it seems like a lot more than it used to be. 
Everything is politicized nowadays, I, even the science. I, I hate it for Cole. And the other guy I hate it for, John Stockton's finding himself in the same oh, problem. Yeah. He's made some weird propaganda telling people not to get the COVID vaccine and all this stuff. And I'm not that, okay? I'm not telling people not to get the COVID. But calling these people, referring to them as quote-unquote anti-vaxxers, like, come on, guys. Like, that's this is not the hippie mom who doesn't want to vaccinate her kids with polio and all the other vaccines and that you get as a and, child yeah. measles mumps like all that stuff like this is these are not the same people no. these are not the same things measles and mumps kill people they destroy children COVID killed a lot of old sick people it really did and that's a shame and it's sad and i'm not making light of that but it's not gonna kill cole beasley and they gonna no. kill anybody in that locker room unless you got an 85 year old coach 100 percent, 100 percent Staying on the NFL, we're going to swap subjects real quick. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.